Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los. And we are in the Ashenwood. After having gone through the Predator's Den. And got some legendary blood from a Paragon Beast of Malar. So let's check out this corpse that we forgot to last time. So we get a crossbow, we get a potion of heal. And we got... Ceremonies of the Hunt, some type of book. So, let's check this out. This crossbow, reverberating crossbow of pain. This weapon vibrates violently as you hold it. Though powerfully enchanted, it is difficult to aim, making it an inaccurate weapon. Okay, so its attack bonus is plus six, but then its attack penalty is minus five. But it has unlimited ammo, reverberating shot. I wonder what that does. So, in reality, it's just a plus one crossbow with unlimited ammo. I might give that to Sophia because she's pretty good with those crossbows. Let's check this out. Ceremonies of the Hunt. This is the most thorough book of its kind. A step-by-step -step handbook for appeasing spirits and gods of the wilderness. Something no hunter should be without, particularly within the borders of Rashomon. Ashenwood is mentioned specifically. A ritual for burn burning offerings before entering the forest is here. The book has a tendency to open to one particular page, which must have been frequently consulted by the hunters. It describes how to anoint oneself to gain the favor of Malar, beast lord and god of the hunt. It submits that one mixture that has proven empiric empirically successful is made up of two significant elements of the forest, in which hunting favor is desired, which are to be placed into a container filled with the blood of an animal that Malar would favor, which is, say, an incredibly vicious one. Well, sounds like that we do have that type of blood if we want to make a petition to the god Malar. Here's that legendary blood. Okay. So that all kind of works out, and yeah, we uh, we looked at this one before, but we didn't look at the second body, so... Now that we are in a position of the book, we have full knowledge on how to petition gods around here, petition the spirits. And then we got a... Telthor Berserker over here. I guess we'll go talk to him before we go to the Burning Grove to see about that forest fire. Uh-oh. Looks like we got some more monsters over here. How about we throw a fireball at those two? Yeah, it does minimal damage because they have some pretty high reflex saves at this point. Since we're epic level, we have to deal with epic level threats in order to keep it to a reasonable challenge. So let's have all the characters who can switch to long range weapons. Let's see, yeah, you too, Captain, and then we'll have Oku start tanking, taking all the damage from them. Ah, oh. okay, Lin, why do you have to keep casting those spells and? You summoned a horn devil when we didn't even have to? These things are easy. That should be reserved for, like, the hardest of the hard. Alright, so let's grab these treasure bags and... By the time we're done talking with that Telter spirit, I bet you that horn devil will get unsummoned. Okay, so I know that there's, like, a dog running around here somewhere, but... I don't know where he is. You should flee from this place, Hunter. It is no longer under Tulthor protection. Why not? There is nothing to be done about it. The Frost Giants are too many. Once there was refuge in the light of our sanctuary. Now that the Giants have taken over, this part of the woods is open to any foul creature that crawls this way. How did this happen? 
I don't know why, but one day they just came through here, pushing aside ancient trees and crushing innocent creatures beneath their feet. They took special liking to our sanctuary. Their leaders said it'd be easy to defend once they took it. We fought to protect it as we had in so many times past, but this foe was too numerous and powerful. We were routed to our great shame. Well, I bet I can get rid of the giants. Can't say I'd advise it. They didn't strike me as the reasonable sort. But I do sense something unique about you, Hunter. Maybe you know something I don't. So I just need to remove the giants and everything will be restored? No, let's do number three. Trust me, I've dealt with a lot of nuisances. I used to travel with this gnome. Unfortunately, the problem doesn't end with the giants. Like most things in this wood, our sanctuary has existed for ages. Used to be that the spirit of a powerful dryad washed over it. Supposedly, its essence formed a barrier that nothing evil could ever cross. How did the frost giants get past it then? Couldn't say for sure because it was before my time. But it is said that hundreds of years ago an unnatural creature came to these woods to feed. It came here not for flesh and blood, but for the existence of the spirits that dwelt here. It eventually re it was eventually repelled, but not before it tore the dryad spirit from our sanctuary. Without such a guardian, our sanctuary is vulnerable to invasion. Go on. In the center of that island over there, the remains of this dryad's tree now hold a sacred pool. That's where the essence of the dryad spirit was housed. Put simply, it'd need to be replaced. Alright, so now we got a whole bunch of options here. And we can reveal that we are a spirit eater. We can... Yeah, let's do diplomacy. What if I told you I possessed a rare power that could grant you... Grant what you see. Success. You would have my full support at your disposal. Well, if we say that, then I guess... We don't have any choice but to tell him to surrender his spirit. I'm afraid that I would need to ask you to pay the ultimate price. I understand what you ask. I've spent my entire existence watching over this place. If my sacrifice can guarantee its sanctity for the future, then it would be my honor. So let's say, let's not do this yet. I will see if I can find a usable spirit essence elsewhere. Now you can drop any volatile spirit essence in there after you clear these giants out. You can also use another rare essence. And I will save this for a future episode because, like I said at the end of the last one... Oh, it looks like we got some more enemies over there. Like I said before, we're going to check out this forest fire. Now I know there is like a dog running around here. And if I see it, we're going to talk to it because we're going to get some XP for it. But that dog that I'm talking about belonged to that ill-fated group of hunters that we just found. <laughs> Let's take out this troll over here. Since we got long-range weapons don't let already selected. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't take too much for this guy to go down. And then after he gets to zero HP, he just takes one fire arrow or one acid arrow. It looks like it was the fire arrow that did it. So let's grab this treasure bag over here and we get some more essences. Okay. It's too bad we didn't get that many essences in the original campaign. You know, then we could be crafting left and right. Alright, so let's make our way this way. And there's the entrance to the burning grove over there. There's that cave that we were in in the last episode. Now it looks like there's some people over there. Why don't we go talk to them first before we head on over to the burning grove. 
Maybe we can get some more information about what's happening. All right, let's switch back to melee yes. weapons, everybody. I believe so. All right, now let's go back over here. And there's somebody who's near death over there. Let's look at this person. This woman has a hard and feral look about her. She has a wicked de determination that permeates her exterior. A fierce grimace crosses this man's face. It looks like he has had a hard trying life. By looking at those berserker scars, you can see he is no stranger to battle. By all the gods, what have you done to him? Alright. Be at ease, simple berserker. It wasn't by my hands that your comrade's blood was spilt. No, I arrived too late for that. A ten day of praying to Maylar for a path to power led me here. In my visions, I saw Roshemi Berserkers astray in the Ashenwood, and thus, they became my prey. Unfortunately, the trail ended here with this dying Berserker. I am not sure how this happened to him, but it matters not. My job has been made that much easier. I see through your lies, Dark Hunter, and you will pay for what you have done to Grigari. Believe what you will, Maelar will savor the dying screams of you both while I slowly flay the skin from your body, prolonging your demise to sate his bloodlust. Ah, I see more from your wretched encampment have come in search of... Wait, the stranger is no Rashemi. Please, outsider, I beg your help. Hmm, leave that man be. If you stand with my prey, then you must die. And that shifts us three points towards the good. And now we have yes. to attack her. The waking world is done with you. So we'll send... What are you <laughs> doing casting that? I think I should I remove that one. Sacrifice of you. Maybe later. <laughs> Let's have everybody run up in here and just start attacking her. It looks like we're getting sneak attack again. That didn't take too much. She's dead. Now we have to attack these beasts. Looks like they're panthers or something. Oh, poor kitties. The monster is dead. Thank you for your help. I was glad to help you. I am Yurkov. My fallen brother is Grigari. We both hail from the Lake of Tears garrison. We were searching for another group from our encampment that has been lost for days. I went scouting ahead, but when I returned, everyone is gone. Grigari is the only one who have turned up. I think your friend is still alive. You're right, but he won't be for long. These wounds are severe, and I think he is close to passing. Really? That is ridiculous! I could heal Grigari if you let me. I think Grigari would prefer to be left alone. He fought valiantly and died in defense of his homeland. A death can serve no greater purpose. When a Rashemi dies in this way, his spirit may remain as a Teltor, a guardian of the land. For Grigari, as for me, it is a chance worth taking if the death is right for it. I think we should do number four. You are a fool to let your friend die when you might yet save him. Idiot. He is already saved. He has been faithful to the land all his life. The gods will look after him. Grigari has passed. I should leave and find the others. Farewell, and thank you. I have to find the others. Well, screw you! You just let your friend die. And all we get out of it is about 730 gold pieces. And from her, we got a little over 1,900. That's all we get. I think if you attack all of them, you get more stuff. But then it makes you evil. I think it makes you chaotic evil, actually. If you help the woman kill the Rashemi, I think that just makes you evil. I think if you attack all of them, it makes you chaotic evil. 
All right, so now here we are in the burning grove, and as you can see, a bunch of trees are on fire. Let's see if there's anything else around here that we can get. Doesn't look like it. To world map. Oh, okay, so we have an exit around here to the world map, and here's a burnt out tree that we can click on. Yep, there's the exit. And we get some bark cinders. Alright, I guess we'll take those. Not really sure what they're used for. Let's see, found these bark cinders amidst the wildfire raging in Ashwood. As evidence the forests need, they will make a suitable ingredient to the anointing potion you will need to petition a god. Okay, so I guess we will need that after all. Alright. Now, there is a an entity around here that you can click on, and I'm not sure where it is because I can't see it. How about that view, huh? It's a pretty nice view. People in Lake Tahoe pay millions for that. Let's see, where is this entity? No, there's nothing around here. Wait a minute, there's something there, but it doesn't say. Examine. Shape of fire. Standing perhaps 12 feet tall and enveloped in white hot flame, the, gro the glowing red eyes of this tortured being are the very picture of malevolence and hatred. And it says it's challenging. Okay, so let's talk to it. Felt your presence. Felt your birth. Felt it loose my bonds. The time approaches. The time approaches. The time approaches. The time for what approaches? Scorching vengeance. Burning wood. Dying forest. His end is near. His end is near. His end is near. Whose end is near? Forest spirit. Forest essence. Met him once. Now will again. He'll pay at last. He'll pay at last. You felt my birth? Was bound in a red place. A, sh a place of fire. Only heat. Only scorching. Then a disturbance. Cool breeze. He is awakened. He is awakened. What are you? Was a man, now a form. Was a soul, now a shape. Shape of fire. Shape of fire. Shape of fire. Why are you burning down the forest? Burn the grove. Burn the spirit. Burn the jailer. Draw him out. Smoke him out. Draw him out. What do you mean by Jailer? I suspect it refers to the Woodman. Sent me from here. Sent me from life. Sent me to burn. Undying pain. Undying heat. Undying pain. I don't understand. You were punished? Helped many to find him. All was well. Helped you to find him. Earn his wrath. He hated you. He feared you. He hated you. He feared you. You can't mean me. You must mean someone else. Perhaps it is speaking of another spirit eater that once shared the same curse. To its, to its eyes, you were merely a vessel that contains the same hunger. Same grove. And you return. Weakened him once now have again. You are the key. You are the key. You are the key. What's... No. I need you to stop burning the woods. It has made the woodman too weak to return. Will not stop. Burning brings him. Makes him pay. Makes him remember. I have suffered. I have suffered. I have suffered! I'm going to put out these flames, like it or not. Influence gain, Oku. A wise decision, little one. This monstrosity must be extinguished. 
Fought Icy Hag. Fought Winter itself. Almost lost. Then you drew near. Found my strength. She fled east. You'll lose too. She fled east. If I slay you, you won't be able to stop me from putting out your fire. I'm only half in this plane. Half here, half not. No reason to fight. No reason to be exposed. Common enemy. Common purpose. Your strength. My strength. Will not fight you. Will not fight you. Will not fight you! We'll see if I can't give you a reason. Now, you can seek out this hag that he's talking about in the Emil Vale. And she'll give you something to help defeat him. But we have a weapon that deals a lot of cold damage, which we're going to need to extinguish these fires. Now, the Shape of Fire will not fight you until you yeah. extinguish these fires. So you have to go to these burning trees and hit it with some cold damage. And good thing that we have the Shadow of the Void Rapier to do exactly that, which instantly puts out the fires. Yeah. Now, if you don't have any weapons that deal cold damage, you can do it with spells, but yeah. I don't think it's as effective. And now, after you put out all the fires on these trees, the Shape of Fire becomes attackable, so we're going to attack it. And it is incorporeal, so there is a 50% mischance. Shall we indulge ourselves? However, we do have two characters that deal frost damage, which I think it's weak against. So defeating it should not be an issue at all. Alright. Now it's been killed. Actually, it's Whoa, looks like a big gem. It's near death. Looks like its shape has changed to like that of a gem. Even in defeat, the shape of fire still burns mag malignantly. Flames flare up now and again on nearby trees. And we're going to devour the spirit and absorb what remains. And we get 3000 XP for dealing with it. And we acquire the shape of fire essence. Influence lost, Kaylin. One must do what they can to aid a sufferer in carrying their burden, not speed them to their destination. I understand why you did this, but I wish we had sought another way. So we lost six points of influence, but I'm not too upset about that. We can always gain it back later. Plus, we were able to get a very rare essence that we're going to enchant the Shadow of the Void Rapier with. And if you click on this tree, you get a large charred branch. And if you get a special essence later, you can combine that with this large charred branch to create a magic item. And I believe it's the Woodman's essence. If you devour his spirit, then you can get a very rare item. But if you do it with Oku and your party, he will attack you, but chances are, if that's the type of game you're playing, then you probably won't have Oku in your party at all. You probably would have one of many. Alright, so... We got the Shape of Fire Essence. We were able to stop the burning grove from burning. Now we got two more problems yet to solve. And looks like we yes. got... A group of enemies on our way as we try to head back towards that Telther Berserker and those frost giants who have invaded that island that the Dryad was protecting before our previous form destroyed our weapon for consumer essence. I should say, whoa, where did those guys come from? There was so much for spot checks. Now Oku is completely surrounded. He has to deal with Shambling Mounds and Fell Trolls. Oh, okay, so now we have a Treant that wants some, huh? Alright, let's see how you like cold damage. I'm guessing you didn't like it because that instantly killed you. And we're getting some sneak attacks on this. 
Okay, now that it's down, we're gonna need to do a finishing blow on it in order to kill it. Let's have Oku attack this troll because that other treant is near death and I wanna actually try to devour its spirit even though I don't think it's gonna work. I mean, we could try any... Well, actually, no, it's not. Let's do some more damage. Hopefully, it won't kill it. Oh. Too bad. It's dead. Alright, we'll take this one down. And, Kaylin, why don't you do the finishing arrow on that troll so it dies and doesn't get back up? Kaylin... I, you know what? I hate that. When you to do something and it doesn't do it. Alright. So that took care of all those enemies. And Oku did take a lot of damage. And then Kaylin, using her artificial intelligence, healed him back up a little bit. But he's going to regenerate all of those hit points by the time we face some new enemies. So... What's the point, really? I can't really think of any. Alright, so let's head on back towards that little island over there. Does that mean we have to wait through an icy pond? Well, hopefully it's frozen over. It looks cold enough to. Okay, there's that cave over there. Let's see if we can find this dog that's wandering around here so we can collect our 1000 XP that we're supposed to. Well, I'm not really seeing him. He's supposed to be like in this area somewhere. Alright, so we do have some more Telther Spears hanging out around here. Now, I think we should probably go deal with those frost giants probably in the next episode because it is getting kind of high up on the time there. And there is a lot of dog. It will take some time to do that. All right, so in the next episode, we'll deal with these frost giants and see if we can kick them off the island. In the meantime, this is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time, man. Tango Umbudia.